Hello and welcome to Skills to Pay the Bills in today's segment of Just Ask Freeman with me, your host Freeman Owen Jr. and my co-host and beautiful wife Carolyn Owen. We're the owners of Financial Sources Inc. and our purpose to make sure that you're informed and educated about safe money programs, uh, especially for your retirement and for your business and your family. Carolyn, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Okay, let's get started. Well, Freeman, we've been getting a lot of calls mm -hmm. for people interested in uh, probate, and we've getting questions such as how long will it take for my loved one to receive my estate, and also uh, people want to know what will happen to the estate after the principal dies. So, uh, Freeman, what is probate, and what are the pitfalls? Okay. Uh, probate consists of uh, uh, a proceeding, court proceedings which dictate how the estate will be uh, divvied up among their heirs. And uh, it concludes all your legal and financial matters after your death. Uh, the distribution, it can be very complex, and we're going to talk about that to some degree. And um, today is based on uh, largely how probate started back in medieval times. And again, it's going to be very, very complex. Now, if you want to know about some of the, pro, uh, some of the uh, pitfalls, all right, uh, time is an essence. There is approximately anywhere between uh, nine months, upwards to two years, uh, just to process the, uh, or the, the probate proceedings. Now, it depends on how complex your estate is. Okay. That determines uh, the length. Uh, if it's very complex, what can happen is can, it can last anywhere between three and five years. Mm. How about that? It's a okay. long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking over the years, much of the legal system has been made much more accessible and easier, but the uh, probate is just as lengthy and complex as it ever was. Mm -hmm. So does the probate's court help come at a price or is it free? <laughs> you best believe it comes at a price. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, before an heir even receive any of the properties or any of the legacy, there's a uh, approximately a six to ten percent fee that is assessed. Then comes uh, the uh, the credit uh, the creditor claims. So before any liens are paid, or before any of the heirs receive any type of uh, uh, of the legacy. Mm -hmm. There's a nice six to ten percent, and then once the probate process has been uh, concluded, then we worry about the creditor claims uh, and the fees, the uh, attorney fees, etc., uh, that is applied through the entire process. Okay, so it sounds like it's lengthy and expensive. Exactly. And then my uh, last question mm -hmm. on the pitfalls of probate is this. What about the privacy of the family? Okay. Uh, just about anyone who has the savvy uh, can go to a county courthouse okay. and actually look at the records, pull those records and find out what you're leaving to your heirs. Now, um, I want to say there are strategies to prevent that. Well, number one, uh, to prevent having your, uh, your legacy going through the probate process is get an estate attorney, all right? And therefore, you can have uh, a, a living will or a living trust to dictate how those, how those uh, monies or uh, any part of that legacy is uh, sent to, the, uh, uh, to those heirs. Another strategy, let me add this too, Carolyn, is that <clears throat> there are financial products that are used. Now, life insurance, which is a tax-free death benefit. That's uh, true. Okay, and then uh, that those monies can be used to uh, to pay for probate or estate taxes. Uh, the distribution also from a life insurance policy, which is basically tax-free, can also help pay estate taxes. Now, um, another product that you can use is either a fixed index annuity or uh, a fixed annuity. Now you dictate, or I should say, you designate your beneficiaries properly. Then those, uh, those monies that you've set aside for your loved ones bypass probate completely. The reason being you have a contractual agreement with a large insurance company. All right. Okay. 
So, so, so there are strategies, but you have to seek professional you help. You have to seek professional help. And one way to do that, you can come to our website, justasfreema.com, and uh, we do have uh, information there where you can contact an estate attorney. Okay.